All right, so let's discuss asexual reproduction. The key characteristic of asexual reproduction is that it involves just one parent, not two, only one, which means the offspring are identical to the parents. They're just clones. This occurs in most plants, bacteria, protists, and low invertebrates. There's four types of asexual reproduction, so get ready. The first is called regeneration. Regeneration is where an organism uses cell division to regrow its body parts, like a starfish, um, salamander, or a plant cutting, where you can cut off a piece of a plant and plant it in water or soil, and it will grow roots again. That's regeneration. The next type is root runners and spores. Plants can send out runners or give off spores, um, which results in a new plant that is genetically identical to the parent. It's just a clone. Some examples would be fungi, ferns, strawberry plants, vegetables, grass weeds, and crops. So if you ever wonder why um, you have so many weeds growing in your yard, it's because the weeds sent off spores um, and they grew wherever they landed. The third type is budding. And budding is where an organism that produces a bud breaks away to live on its own. The bud breaks away to live on its own. And a good example of this is um, an organism called hydra. The hydra produces a bud. It breaks off once it's ready, and it is identical to the original hydra. The last type of asexual reproduction is called binary fission. It's a fancy term, but what it means is it's an organism whose cells do not contain a nucleus, copy and then divide into two identical organisms. This is a great this is what bacteria use to reproduce. So if you notice in the in the image, um, the bacteria are they don't have they're prokaryotic, so they don't have a nucleus. Um, they copy themselves and then divide into two identical organisms. And that's it.